So I've spent the last three days trying to solve this problem of why my PC stopped reading my SSD. And I thought I'd make this video in case someone else is having a similar issue because it took me forever and I could not find something that was as similar as my situation. So in case someone else has some sort of similar situation, maybe this can save you a lot of headaches. So let's get into it. Hi, so if we have not met, my name is Jacob. Sometimes I make little videos and I'm currently making a, my first feature film and I use the BMP CC 4K. Great camera, amazing camera. At the price point, you can't beat it. Long name, amazing camera. And I record onto the Samsung T5 uh, one terabyte SSD, which is a very popular card. Everybody uses it. Um, actually, I didn't want to use it to begin with because everyone used it and I didn't, I hate doing what everyone else does. Um, and I was, at, I was at Best Buy and they had a sale on external hard drives and I bought <clears throat> a, uh, a Western Digital Easy Share five terabytes for the same price you'd get a one terabyte T5. Now, obviously, uh, I wasn't sure if that would even work considering it's very different than, you know, the standard SSDs that you'd get. And it's obviously not listed on the recommended hard drives to use for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. But I don't think that the T5 one terabyte is listed either. I think the, the 500 gigs and the two terabyte is listed, but not the one terabyte. And that works absolutely fine. Everybody uses it. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, so I got the five terabyte and I, and it read, it recognized the drive, but it said 16 minutes of shoot time. Now I think that I could have maybe plugged it back in. You know, sometimes the T5 has it, if it doesn't recognize it, you unplug it and turn it off and put it back in and then it works fine. So it could have done that. Um, but I saw that I'm like, okay, it doesn't work. Got the T5, love the T5 as it works perfectly. So I'm using the T5, everything's running smoothly, you know, shoot stuff, you put on the computer, you shoot stuff, you back and forth, back and forth, no issues whatsoever until recently. Uh, I was shooting this event and this is a long day, it's an eight hour day that I'm shooting and I get a lot of footage. And before I start shooting, uh, I realize that I still have a bunch of stuff on the drive. So I need to clear that. So I format the drive to clear the data. I shoot, I decide actually to shoot in, uh, I usually shoot in five to one. I shoot in 12 to one for most of, uh, of the day, um, just to, to make it a little quicker for file sizes. And, um, I probably didn't need to format the card to begin with, but so we shoot that day. Everything's great. Next day I go and I put the drive in the computer and start inputting the footage and <clears throat> drive isn't there. Doesn't show up. Doesn't, doesn't recognize it. So I said, what the hell? I new cable, I try new port, nothing's working. I go to my disk partitions and I see the drive is there. It's recognized. It's it's not it's allocated, it's not unallocated, it's there. I just can't access it. It's locked. I don't I for whatever reason it's locked. And I can't do anything with it. I saw so many things where it was just, oh, you need to make partitions. I couldn't do that. I could delete the volume, and that was it. That was my only option. But I can't do that because I cannot clear the data from the drive. This is a, a an event with many videos that I need to make from it. I've already gotten paid for the gig. I cannot lose this footage. So I realized that I haven't formatted the T5 before. Out of the box, it worked right in the camera, it worked right in the computer, never had to format it. So I realized, for whatever reason, formatting the card caused the issue. Now... I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because I formatted in OS extended, not EX fat, which was my mistake. Uh, but I did not realize what a friggin' pain it would cause if you make that mistake. So just right away, don't format in OS extended unless you know how to deal with that. Because for me, at least I, uh, using a PC, it's a it's a fucking nightmare. So I'll just say from the jump, I'm not very computer technology savvy. I uh, it's I'm learning, uh, but it's not my my forte necessarily. So after two days of trial and error and really just error, 
I realized the only way to get the data, the footage, from the SSD is to use a data recovery program, some software. So the thing about data recovery programs that you can find and download, at least for me, the ones that are free uh, for full versions, they don't find B-roll footage, like at all. So I spent hours letting these different programs scan and try to find and different app, and none of it worked. None of it worked. The only ones that worked were ones that obviously, like most of them, you have to pay for. And that's another minimum 70, around $100 though, usually. And I did not want to pay $100 for my footage. What I ended up using was this program called Disk Drill 4. Now it's not a free program. You can download it for free and you can get, I think 500 megabytes of data for free. But I had 298 gigs uh, of footage that I needed to, to get back. So what I ended up doing is I found this guy and I'll link his video below who helped assist me in getting a full version of that program without necessarily paying for the upgrade, okay? So I was able to get the full version, get the footage, and I have the footage. And thank God, I don't gotta call this guy and say, hey, you know that gig that you already paid me for, that you spent all this time and money paying for people to come down, people out of state, you set up this time, you got the venue, you got this food, all eight, you were there for 10 hours. Yeah, that's, all that footage is gone. Sorry, did not wanna call him and say that. So. I got the footage, it's safe, I check it, It's. it looks like it's all there. Then I call him and let him know, hey, we have this issue. But it's taken care of, don't worry about it. So everything is fine on that end. I got the footage, you know, that's the biggest burden relieved. However, the drive still does not show up on the PC. It, it shows up, it's recognized, it tells me it's allocated, it tells me it's in drive H, I just can't access any of it. It's like marrying someone and then they have a twin and you go hey well i recognize you but i can't i can't have sex with you and this is what happened i couldn't have sex with my ssd card well all right so as you can see the uh, t5 is plugged in and it's nowhere to be found uh refresh it nothing nothing happens if i open up my partitions you see Disk 2, it's there. That is my T5. The only thing I can do is delete the volume. Go to properties, device is working properly. Yay. Everything is, seems like it's absolutely fine on it. But obviously, it is not. And you can see, when I try to delete the volume, it's protected. Yay. So here's how I solve the problem. If you open up run, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, it'll open up your registry editor. If you go under computer, uh, hotkey local machine, system, control, new key, you will make a new folder called storage device policies, all one word. You're gonna do new, if you have 64 bit, which I do, or you do 32 bit, depending on your device, I do 64. Rename that, write protect, no spaces, no spaces. If it's, it should be a zero. If it is a one, change it to zero. So then you're gonna open up your command prompt and run as administrator. So you just go to your start, type in CMD, it will come up, uh, right click, run as administrator if you don't see that option. So you're gonna type in disk part, all one word. You're gonna type in list disk. You're gonna type select disk and whatever number it is, for me this is two, and then type in Attributes, disk, clear, read only. And it should hopefully be cleared successfully. And you can type exit and then you're good. If we go back and see it's still not there. So that's expected. I'm gonna go back to the management here. And now if we delete the volume, same prompt, but wait for it. Boom. It's now unallocated. And now we can make a new sample volume here. And this is just sort of re reformatting it here. So now you just save it, title it, whatever. I'm just gonna put T5. 
finish and boom now you can see it shows up it's reformatted all is right with the world so i don't have any of the screen recorded footage of when i actually took the footage off of the uh of the ssd before i was able to reformat it um, but this is the program that i use disk drill and again the video below will uh will show you how to get the uh, full version so you can actually get more than 500 megabytes as you can see um, I took a, a little bit more than 500 megabytes. So as you can see here, this is the footage that I got off of the SSD um, originally before I, you know, reformatted it, obviously. And everything works fine. It opens, it plays, no worries. Um, so yeah, there you go. So everything's fine now. The card works. It's in the camera right now. It's recording just fine. I'm going to put it back in the computer and, and edit this all up as long as... Da Vinci works. Da Vinci, why don't you just work sometimes? Sometimes you just, you don't open and I have to uninstall 17 to reinstall 16 and then I got problems saying the GPU is improperly coded and then I code it and then it's fine and then it doesn't work again for three days. What the hell, Da Vinci? Get your shit together. Anyway, and obviously I could have saved myself a big headache the past 10, 12 hours by just reformatting the card on the camera as EX fat. Obviously, but you know, once I take the footage off of the card, I wouldn't have to do any of the command prompt. I wouldn't have to do any of that other stuff. But that's why I'm here. So that's my little story of how I fix my problems by severely overcomplicating them. And if anyone ever watches this, I really hope it helps you out and saves you some hassle and some headaches. And like me, you learn from it. Because that's the whole point of filmmaking and that's the whole point of life really so there you go life lesson at the end of it all right thanks for watching